can't be, it can't be over like this. Yeah, something needs to happen. This is giving me major anxiety. Baby, we have five more minutes left before the show ends. Chop, chop. Hey guys, welcome back to the Rainbow Rears with Puddles and Matt. We're back with a vengeance. Are we? With a vengeance? Yes. Why? We need to tackle chop. this last episode. We need to tackle some people in this show. <laughs> exactly. Right, guys, this is the end. This is the finale. One and a half months after it was aired, <laughs> with a bit of a delay. <laughs> Thanks for waiting. We made it here, so. Yes. Thanks for waiting. We are still recovering from a cough. Yes. Um, we also celebrated a birthday. I got one year older. Um, and we're excited. I mean, it's chaos. The last episode really finished with uh, Simone breaking uh, Villa's heart, I guess. Yeah. I mean, the bomb exploded. The bomb exploded. Like... Uh, and it was just a lot. Let's see what will happen next. Yeah, and how they will wrap this up. Exactly. Right? Let's go. Let's go. Oh. We're starting with tears. It's interesting because she's so right. You know, they've had so many ups and downs, but it's never been truly over. Wow. Okay. Villa is realizing what's up, which is good. Ah, oh, bless him. But is it too late? It is never too late. Well, at least it's kind of summer again. It's warm. Wow, this is going Beach to the playlist. Rainbow. Why is it? Oh, I guess it's like the two teams or something. Everybody's wearing either yellow or purple. Really? Yeah, there were quite I didn't a few notice. people. Hmm. Purple. Hey. Okay, you need to relax for a minute. <laughs> Yellow. What's happening? You need to stop. <laughs> Has he told her? Ah, I guess so, yeah. I'm so happy that they're back, you know, brother and sister. Imagine, like, otherwise you wouldn't have anyone now. True. No. Stop. Mm -hmm. Ooh, this is gonna be explosive. Oh, he just left the car. For her, as a goodwill gesture, babe. No. Yeah, that you always have right. We would have had contact with him. I know what you do. I think. I think it's you who has the right to all the time. Du vågar ju ge människor en andra chans. Men det betyder inte att jag inte vill ha honom i mitt liv. What did she say? Did she not say five minutes ago that he hurt her and it was painful? Yeah, I guess she's trying to say like he's not perfect and he will never be perfect, but he can still somehow be part of her life, you know? I think she's doing this to ease him into the fact that she's still with August. <laughs> and that she wants to keep the car. Exactly. <laughs> so I actually like that. By the way, I'm back with August. Oh my god, yes. Because. Oh. 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 What's Is it Vanessa? Ja, jag, jag måste tyvärr avbryta lektionen eh, och faktiskt hela, hela dagen är inställd. Det är så att skolinspektionen har tagit ett beslut. De har gett tillerska verksamhetsförbud. No! Oh, Felice, what did you do? 
Ett jobba. Kronprinsen. Vad fan menar du? Du höll ett jävla tal. Och nu ska hela skolan stänga. Det måste vara något jävla rekord alltså. Vincent Gerig, han inte vara med. Det sitter ju i väggarna här. Ja, det sitter i väggarna. Oh no, Felice is gonna say it was me. Va? Uh, uh... Riktigt, vilka var det här som snackar med skolinspektionen? Mm. No, oh, they're all coming for her. I told you they're all coming for her. Yeah. Wow, You're telling loud. the prince to shut up? Oh, he's gonna lose it. A bit. <laughs> so the... No, stop it. <clears throat> Felice standing there with that damn Valentino bag while the world is crumbling around her. I can't deal. This is too much. So I guess the third graders are still gonna... Graduate. Graduate. Yes. But then... The other ones <laughs> won't be able to come back. Mm. Oh, medicine. Back to. Ah, move. Ärlig. Göteborg. Det var den sämsta stad. Vi kan inte dra från Bjärsta. Is it the worst city in the world? Apparently. Is she still on the phone talking? 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 Is she still on but now, now it's like a fucking bad thing. True, actually. It's a really good place. And then we just focus on a few hours later. What is he realizing? What is he realizing? But maybe they're right. He was previously in the perfect position. But now... Oh, look who's back. He has so many more responsibilities. Not him holding the same book. Hur mår du? Att ja, skolan ska stänga och så. I don't think he wants to talk about the school. Kan du bara säga att det är som kär? Vad ska ni ha på er ikväll? För jag har liksom på riktigt rensat ut hela min gäll. Wait for the moment. Oh my god. What's his name? Henry? Harry? Babe, read the room. Chop, chop. Move. Oh, do they all have to wear, wear white? See, if I were Felice, I'd be like, listen, you bitches are coming for me. Don't hug me. Ah, uh, of course. Oh, that's master. Yeah. He's, he's like, them. fuck it. Can't stand here. More shit, someone. Guys, it's like one bottle after the other. That, no, no wonder the school is closing. It's like constant alcohol. Like, where are they getting it from? <laughs> He's just gonna drink it from the bottle, like a little pobo. They're kids. They are. True. We were doing the same thing. But there has to be some more conflict with Felice, right? Like, that's, that can't be it. I feel the same like, way. I feel the same way. Something has to happen. The girls will come for her one more time, I'm sure. And and Sarah will... S also the fact that she knows that she... Felice knows about Sarah and August. Also, we need to have a bit more time with Stella and Felice. Like, these guys need to... 
right? Just move on, chop chop. Give us a bit of closure. I need to have at least one kiss before this show yes. ends. Yes. Who did the backflip? I don't know, but Vanessa Hamilton needs to turn up and smash everything. Be like, get out! Who? who? Vanessa Hamilton, babe. The headmaster? Yes, the mistress. And we haven't seen her. The dean. Only when they came over and then... Yes. Hello, Sarah. Oh, Henry. Oh. Henry was twerking. Trouble. Rush is gonna make a move on um, Stella, wait for it. <gasps> Do you think they're gonna have another one of those moments where in episode one the light's behind mm. them? Ooh, that would be cute. <sighs> oh. Explosive! Oh, yes. We know she knows. Yes, we do remember. Det var den bästa dagen i mitt liv. Du sa att du tyckte att mitt hår var fint när det lockade sig. Kanske lade skit tönt ut men det betydde väldigt mycket för mig. För att platta och fixa håret. Fix my hair, this is so sad. There is nothing that needs fixing. I mean, especially the teachers kept saying yes. stuff to her as well, you know? You know what? I'm actually happy that she burnt this place down. What did she say? It's her for the school. Ah, see, I told you! I told you she would tell her! I said it was to school inspection. Okay. So I really told everything. Baby. Good. So it's not fair. Oh, she missed you too. Give her a hug. Oh, that was it. Not even a hug or anything. They had a hug. It was a, <laughs> you know, it was a hug. It wasn't a physical hug, but they both understood. They're both on the same page. You know who's not on the same page? Stella and Federica. But luckily, Rosh is around. She's gonna mm. get these two bitches onto yeah, the same look, page. Look, look. You too, you too. <laughs> no. No, baby, your radar is fine. <laughs> it's beep, 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 beep. Your radar is fine. Your heart, um... I thought they know. I mean, and you said, "What for should we scat?" What for? Not what for? Not said something. I thought they know. That's our understanding. Yes, I would expect that in season three, <laughs> after going through everything and anything. Ooh, hello, sailor. Mm, I don't think she wants that. 
I think she she will break up with him like officially. Really? You know? oh, this would have been such a nice ending for them, though, no? What is she gonna do? I wish they get over. What? What? Why? What should I? Put the end to it. Sora, do you see our mate? It isn't what I want. I said to do it all this night. Tell me to do the same thing. Do I share it and do it blue with me? They ain't the same as all. Wow. Interesting. I'm confused. Why is she doing that to him? I don't understand. I thought she loved him. I'm confused. She does. But she she says I I just need to prioritize release. Is that it? No, she needs to prioritize herself. It was actually really good what she said. She's like, I see you and I, I know but, who yeah. you are. But do you but see But you me? don't love me for who I am. <clears throat> you love how you feel when you're with me. Mm. Hmm. Interesting. My God, go over already. Yep, oh, he's going over. Here we go. <laughs> what do you mean? Forget everything. For tonight, he said. Hmm. Interesting. I'd be like, babe, why are you playing with my feelings? <laughs> I'm still grieving. Well, I guess... I mean, they both just want this, like, last moment together. Fair enough. Like a goodbye. Uh? Oh, is that from the trailer where they're uh, in the lake together? Hmm, I think so. Oh, beautiful imagery. Oh, they did end up. Together. Hello. Finally on the same page. Mm. She's like, I'm going to look it's away. Like... <laughs> this is so cute. Oh, this is bittersweet. <clears throat> oh. He's like, it's over, but I'm still sending you a birthday gift. A song. Of course it is. So you will never forget me. You'll never get over me. Aww. Not the cursed music room. I'm not gonna miss the music room, I'm not gonna lie. Over it. This is heartbreaking. Yeah, I don't like where this is going. Yeah. It just feels all very sad. Very melancholic. Yeah. Wait for it. Vanessa's gonna be like, ha ha, April Fools, we're not closing, we just wanted to prank you. Back to your rooms. Oh, this is so sad. Undoubtedly, she, maybe she had the biggest growth, Sarah. I don't know. Maybe she did. No. What was that? That was the snowball, no? The um, yeah. from his brother, from Eric. An applause for our avgångselever. Applause for destroying the score. Låt oss hoppas att det inte är för sista gången. Varsågod. That's his song. Mm. He's gonna storm out. That is my song. Stop that was singing it. not planned. 
Bitter sweet. This is crazy. I can't believe it's ending. What are we gonna do? Oh, it's... oh. she's there? Yes. Oh, that's nice. She's admitting it. That's that's good. Can you forgive me, Vina? Yes, we can, Christina. You've been a bitch, but we can. Oh. Oh, he had to crush the party. <laughs> Let me put that back back on the sunglasses. Back so to you being a queen. See. I'm crying. I'm only the mother for this one over here. For you, I'm the queen. Och jag gav aldrig upp oss. Jag gav upp på kungahuset. Hej då, Simi. Hej då. What's going on? I think this is going to be the end. Really? Tack, Villa. Stop it. I'm surprised he hasn't... <clears throat> thought about um what do you say rejecting the throne you know oh here she is back with the valentino wait for it why didn't you come with us to new york mm, no i don't think so Kompisar som slänger pengar på problemet istället för att lyssna. Jag behövde någon som jag kunde vara ärlig med. Och det är mm. inte alltid så lätt med dem. De har nog rätt i att New York är en lite roligare stad än... Yes. Get into the car and start driving. Jag tar ju bil. Då kan man ju åka någon annan ställe. Wait for it. Road trip. I can't be, I can't be over like this. Yeah, something needs to happen. This is giving me major anxiety. Baby, we have five more minutes left before the show ends. Chop chop. Willem, en dag kommer du nog bli en fantastisk kung. Jag vet det. I don't want to be. Say it! You think? He wants to be free. He wants to be... You think? What happens if I don't want to Måste ju finnas ett värre livsöde att tilldelas än det här. He's like, no. Actually, this is the worst. Stop it. Jag vill inte det här. So what, August is gonna do it? But imagine, he's also gonna suddenly gonna say no. What happens then? Då är det där din arvtagare. He's literally saying, pick August. Can we open the door? Hold up. Is he going to walk over to August? And say you can have the throne? Now the music! Let him go! Oh, let him go! Let him go! He's not a prince anymore! This is crazy. Is he going to try to find Simon? I think so. Wow, I have goosebumps. It is unreal. Are you okay? You have goosebumps. Do you have goosebumps? <laughs> Stop! No. No, he's running. This is Take crazy. Take me with you. Take me with you. No. Are they going to see him? Look in the back mirror. Please. Please. Stop the girl! Like, Sarah! Stop! Go. <gasps> no! Oh. They stopped, right? Yes. The car is moving.
Jag vill inte vara kung. Hon är... Hon är fin med det. Vad? Är det gärna sig nu? Bitch, I mean, if he says no, I'm gonna jump through the screen. Take me with you. I'm gonna slap him as well. Go back, go back. What go did back. he say? Are you sure you're over me? No, we're not over you. We need another season. <sighs> what the hell do you think? Question. You should have said, like, I'll never be over you. Yeah, that would have been nicer. Question, is Felice in the car? Yeah, Felice so. better be in the car. Look at these two. The acting is incredible. Give us a kiss. Give us a kiss, please. Yes, yes, look at each other. Give us a kiss. Hello? Kiss. There we go. <laughs> Not you directing them. Kiss now. <laughs> I would have been like, cut, kiss. <gasps> oh, flashback. Ooh, this was... On the very first no. moment. Mm. <laughs> yes. That is Felice. <laughs> Let's go, girls. Road trip. Yes. So cute. I can't. Not them smashing the system and just driving off. Walking away as the winners. <laughs> ha! Let's go. Aww. This is cute. And they're wearing seatbelts. Be responsible and safe. Oh, this is perfect. This is the end. What are we? I think we're sad. <laughs> it's sad that it's over. Yes. No after credit scene. I thought as well we're gonna get a little Marvel moment, like multi-dimensional multiverse. <laughs> <laughs> multi-dimensional multiverse? Yes. What is going on? I don't have to ask you. Give me the rundown. What do you think? Um, mixed feelings. Okay. Start from the top. <clears throat> yeah, the whole episode was very melancholic, very sad somehow. It was just felt like, wow, it's all just falling apart. Yes, I thought the same. I was like, where are we going with this? Like, hold on. Last time I checked, we had 15 minutes. Please start wrapping it up. I need closure. Right? Like, I need closure. School is closing. Yes. August and uh, Sarah, Sarah are not together. Sarah, that was a crazy move. But the more I think about it, the more I'm like, I really think she had the most growth in this show. Right? Yeah. And then, and then Simon and Villa. Right until the very end, where I was like, okay, is it really over? You're jumping to Simon and Willa. Pause, please. Can we talk about Federica and Stella? They had a moment as well, finally. A moment. <laughs> they had a moment in the bed. With other people in, in the, the room. room yes yeah that was good Niels coming out of his friends I thought they knew I thought so as well I always had the feeling that he's quite open not open with but, it, but open like not, but not in your face yeah exactly yeah or like that at least they they would know that he's and... he's bisexual or something yeah, yeah, yeah. you know like yeah but yeah, they, I mean, they reacted in a good way, yeah. you know, so. A little disappointed, to be honest with you. And I felt the same way about Felice in season two. I think they wrapped up Felice nicely here. They gave her more purpose. They gave mm -hmm. her a better purpose. But what are they doing with Madison? Madison was just this filler character. Yeah, throughout. she was really just like this fun, quirky yeah. side character. Yeah, but you know. a little sad. I was like, are we going to get some well, closure? She's taking them to New York. Without Felice. 
Well, she was invited, I guess, but she, she, does, she doesn't want to go. Can we talk about the fact that the school, the system, everything's crumbling and Felice is just standing there with a Valentino. <laughs> I guess it was me. It was my fault. Exactly. <laughs> the school? Yes. It was me. And the only person that it actually knows is Sarah. Sarah. It just shows you the relationship they have, you know, and going back to... Was it the last episode or the episode before that where they we, we talked about friends and real friends and mm -hmm. here she says it, you know, like when I was the saddest or, my, you know, my, the world came crumbling down on me, it was you mm -hmm. that was there for me, you know, and not people throwing money at the problem, like yeah. the friends, you know, but there was someone that actually listened to me and that was Sarah. And that's so much more important than a fancy trip to New York. True. The um, ending was incredible now. Them on a road trip, all four of them? Yeah. That was lovely. I want to know where they're going. Like, what is happening next? Well, because I'm obviously, you, like, there will be a movie. Realistically, thinking ahead yeah. after the summer, yeah. they will have to go back to school. But not the same school. Not the same school. So, yeah. are they all going to go well, to the same different school? Or, like, are they going to have to split up? They probably have to split up, but there, there's still option. I mean, I think that might also be this. Would you call it a metaphor? The fact that Sarah has a car, just because they're going to de separate schools, doesn't mean they won't be seeing each other. You know, mm -hmm. Sarah's going to be driving around and collecting everybody for the afternoon. Yeah. Um, but also, Vanessa did say we are fighting the decision to close Hilerska, uh, yeah. so stay tuned. No. You never know. You never you know, know. They might. They I'm telling might you, they're gonna to make reopen. a movie. Give us, like, give it a few years, and they're gonna they're gonna make a movie. Yeah, they might skip forward and be like ten years into the future. Well, not ten years, but like at least skip ahead to their graduation or something. Oh, okay, that could be interesting. Yeah, it was interesting, as you said. Like, I think Sarah really had the biggest growth. I thought so. I felt so. Like you could see different different points in this episode, like the the storyline with her father mm. right where she received the car as a gift but then she really said to to simon like she kind of realized yes her dad is not perfect right nobody's perfect he will always do these kind of mistakes and like maybe disappoint her mistakes but... that was a mess yeah but, but that's yes. just how he is you know like mm. and it's really gonna be di difficult to Change it. You could see, like he had, he had really moments where he had like good intentions and he was trying to be there for her and everything. Yeah. But he just kept falling back into this old habit. But then, as she said, it's like, well, he's still my dad. I still love him. He can still be part of my life somehow. Thanks for the car, by the way. <laughs> keep it coming. I'll keep the car. Thank keep you. it coming. You know. Yeah, I don't know. A yes and no. Yes and no, I want to say. I don't and know. also maybe she also realized it was a mistake to, because of her, that... Simon kept it a secret? Simon didn't have his dad in his life as mm. well. Because, you mm -hmm. know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. he wasn't seeing him because of Sarah. Mm. Yes, I guess. Maybe I'm a little too skeptical, but yes, I guess. Yeah. And then the moment with, with August later was just like, wow. That was crazy. But again, kudos to her. She said, you know, this is not what I need. And you're not seeing me for who I am. Very, very valid points there. Uh, I don't know. Still a bit in disbelief, but I can see it. I can see where she's coming from. Uh, I can totally see where <clears> she's <throat> coming from. And I guess he needs to do better, right? Just reading through a letter doesn't mean that, you know, everything is resolved suddenly. Yeah. Right. And clearly, clearly he could have done better. Because even I said it, you know, when he sold a painting or whatever he sold to buy that horse, I thought, wow, that in itself is a big move because he wasn't even willing to do that to pay his own tuition, mm -hmm. considering that Hileshka was the biggest and most important thing for him. But he wasn't willing to sell his father's uh properties whatever yeah. however he did it for her right but then in hindsight i thought is he bribing her is this a bribe 
is this a way of him buying her back or yeah. buying her loyalty, you know? Yeah. Like, did he do it because he loved her or did he do it because he thought of, oh, if I do this for her, she will be mine forever or something, you know, like a bribe. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, he, he was just trying to keep her in his life somehow. Hmm. Right. Did he have feelings for her? Yeah, for sure. For sure. Like, uh, you know, but and she knows that. But it's more like. But did she have fe- Did he? Did he have feelings for her as a person, or did he have feelings or like the fact the way he felt when she was around? Exactly. What, which what, is what she what called you out. Said. Yeah, yes. that's what she said. I don't know. What do you guys think? I kind of wanted a happy ending for him and her, you know, especially after last episode. But and actually, like. If you think about it, like, he really did not have a good ending. No, here. my heart breaks for him. They Especially act- after them saying, you know, you had it much better before. Yeah. You were part of the royal family, but you weren't in the inner circle. So you, exactly. had, you didn't have responsibilities. And I think that's when he started realizing, oh, these see, guys are right. You could see in his face, he was suddenly like, oh. And then Villa is walking away. Almost like he's realizing like, shit, maybe this is a mistake, right? Exactly. And then Villa is walking away. And this this is where I think it's a bit sad because obviously we we don't see now what's happening after, but him having this feeling of like, oh, actually, maybe this is wrong. Actually, I don't want it. Mm. But now... He's caged. He's caged, you know. It's he, almost like he is the next in line now. He is. It's almost like this, so, this, 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 this golden bird cage, and you see Villa flying out, but then you see August, and then the gate closes. And it's and almost like maybe it's crazy. like maybe this is going a bit too far, but like maybe it, this oh, is kind ahead. of his, kind of his punishment for. Because, this is what he always wanted, he wanted that, right in yes. the beginning. He wanted to be in power and everything, and like, like him becoming king is like, pfft, he said it out of this world. But maybe because throughout the seasons he did so many things, bad things. Yes, it's like, well, now you get what you want. You go. Well, season one, they're outside after the initiation, having a piss, and they're talking about it. And um, August says, "I would give everything for this. Mm. I would." Change with you in a heartbeat. Yeah. Fast forward. Ba bam. Now he has it, but does he, he want have it? Sarah. He doesn't have Sarah, and does he still actually want it? Probably not. Sad for August, but you know I can see it. Uh, listen, we had the Team August T-shirt for a reason. There are these <laughs> moments. He had some. There moments. are these moments, these glimpses where you like you feel for this guy, right? You feel for the character, but like you said. This is his punishment. And if you think about it, he deserves it. But also, I I don't know, especially after him reading through the letter last episode, I was just like, dude, you've been through shit, mm. right? He was the outsider. He came to her Lashka because his dad took his life. Like, think about it. It's yeah. surreal, right? It's this boy that is completely lost. He's being bullied. He's running errands for others. He's crying. He's alone. He's a par- it looks like he was an introvert as well. And he's talking about like, you know, now you've been stronger, you have muscles and all of that. And it's just, it destroyed me when I, when he yeah. was reading through the letter last episode and he had to see this. And I agree with you. You're right. It's his punishment. But I'm also like, I'm thinking about the boy that started at this school two years ago. I might actually start crying in a minute, but it's so <laughs> sad. It is so sad, but it is what it is. Listen, he, he's the villain. Yeah. Malta did an incredible job. The acting was incredible. The uh, the um the acting was incredible. Yeah. So kudos to him. Kudos to all of them. But but I feel for him. I I feel for August. But does he deserve it? A little bit. Mm. Do I wish he had an happy? Do I wish he had an happy happy ending? I do. Yeah. Yeah, it would have been nice if they all had a happy ending. But yes. I guess it's but you can't. Well. You can't. Um, I did find it a bit sad that Christina and the dad only showed up at the very end now. 
Well, that's when he saw them. So for all we know, they might have been already yeah, there. Yeah, but like throughout the episode. Oh, I see what right? you mean. There was, there was they, nothing. There was nothing. Yeah, yeah. Like to pick up this, what happened in the last episode. Like this huge fight fight that they had. It was now just it, at the end. They show about the gradation. She apologizes. It's kind of fitting you know? though. It's kind of fitting if you think about it. Because that's exactly what Villa criticized. Right? You as my parents are never there for me. Mm. So the fact that they just appeared at the end to show face kind of makes sense again, you know? It kind of makes sense. Because if you think about it, that's always what they do. They're just there to, um, you know... Check a box. Yeah. We've come to the last day at school. Now we can go. 15 minutes. 15 minutes no longer. Where's the car? Let's go home. You know? So I can I can see it again. And it, it just fits the characters. It fits their roles. You know, they're just there to just tick a box. And that's what he criticizes. He's like, yeah. you know, you weren't there for me when I needed you the most. Do better. Yeah. You know, well, I guess at least it was nice that she apologized. And she said, like, you know, I will try to do better. Do better. And be there for you as a mother, not and just a queen. That's why she probably let him go at the end. She's exactly. Like, I need to let him go. Yeah. Yeah, I need to let him go. Can we talk about the fact that the one person that knew the most closure didn't have any closure? Jan Olaf. <laughs> where where, where was, was, he? was he? Also, was it Farima? Farima. Yeah. She was on the she phone. She was on the phone, she was but on the phone. we didn't see her anymore. He just left her. Uh, just talk to yourself, babe. <laughs> I've had it with you. I've had um, it. Um... Yeah, I don't know. This episode felt weird in the sense that I was like, huh, we're running out of time and you guys are not wrapping things up. Yeah. But it just, until the very end, it just felt like, wow. Where are we going? It's over. Yes. It's over. Yes, yes, yes. And somehow nobody's happy. Yes. But then suddenly... More or less everybody's happy. It kind of turns around. More or less. Like... Yeah. Interesting. Um, I can't believe it's over. What was your, if you think about all the three seasons, what, what would you say was, was your most memorable moment? Or wow moment where you're like, oh wow. Wow moment, oh wow. You, you, you <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, oh wow, oh wow, oh wow. Oh wow. <laughs> you know what I mean. Um... Hmm. I think probably going back to season one and like, the, season one tells. the the main the main thing that happened right was the vi- the, the, the recording the bloody video yes yeah that was a crazy moment actually which part though the recording or the releasing um both because I remember our faces when we when we when when he recorded them it was I was in disbelief exactly I mean that was already bad enough but then when he actually went ahead and posted uploaded it, that, it. that was was like. Wow. But I want to say we kind of knew he's going to do it because as explosive as the recording was, it needed to be even more explosive, which yeah. was literally the, the uploading. Yeah. Um, and then it was just getting crazy and crazier, right? He recorded it, he uploaded it, and then Sarah sees him uploading it. And then not only, but then instead of saying something, she goes to bed with him. Yeah. I mean, babe, can you even... Crazy moment. I want to say the craziest moment was the moment on the shooting range where... <sighs> yeah, I mean, that was... <sighs> with Villa holding the gun into August's face and be like, babe, the jig is up. <laughs> the jig is up. Bam, bam, bitch. I wouldn't, have, I wouldn't have been surprised if he actually would have... I was like... Is he going to shoot the trigger, him? Yeah. Know? I think I even said it. I think we might even go back and rewatch it, but I think I even said it. He's <clears> going <throat> to shoot him. I think he's going to shoot that him. That was a good, like, the way they, they acted as well. Was that really good. was crazy. I think that was the craziest it moment also, for like, me. just so many sad moments, like when Eric died. Oh, yeah. It was just like... Episode three? I think it was episode three. Maybe, yeah. Season one. Um, but also now, even in this season, um, August Letter. I thought that was very emotional mm. for me. That was very emotional for me. You know how I am. I, I, I care for every single character, even the villains. <laughs> yeah. Um, that was that was crazy. Yeah. But on, on just like, especially between August and then Villa and Simon, all the like, gaslighting and, and the threats and like, oh, if you say this, I'm going to say this, and but I'm going to reveal that. And it's just like, hmm. yeah. Wild. Mm, not wild. 
Explosive. Yes. Well, you guys, this is the end of Young Royals. This journey. It's been a crazy ride. I can't believe it's over. But it is over. We will also watch the documentary probably this coming weekend. Mm -hmm. Right? Edit and upload. Uh, we still have uh, Red, white, white and Royal Blue, which we need to edit. We started editing. It's a beast. And we're also going to start watching Fellow, Fellow Travelers, Travelers, which a lot of you requested. We're quite excited. But obviously, this is over, so we have a free spot. Exactly. We fill it. So we will fill it. We will jig the animes a little bit around because Demon Slayer is coming, which is quite important for us. We are big Demon Slayer fans. Yes. So our... Um, and My Hero Academia. Which is also coming. It's also coming. Oh, it's very busy. Yes, but we have a lot happening. But yeah, definitely uh, Fellow Travelers is coming, which we're quite excited about. And um, yeah, it's been a, a crazy ride. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for your comments. We will probably go back and start rewatching stuff because, again, mm -hmm. I'm just sure. relieving it a little bit. But the documentary is next. So much more to come. Thanks for being with us on this ride. And we will see you for the next one. Take care. Bye.